Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A staple of every Monday on FIFA 23 during Team of the Season is the Upgrade Pack SBC content. Today we've got a new pack code and history on our side that hints on a potential guaranteed repeatable Team of the Season Upgrade Pack SBC coming. So I want to talk about that, unpack that all today. Can we invest? How will it impact the market? All of that and what else to expect today on a Monday in FIFA 23. If you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up on this one and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's quickly look back to yesterday because there was actually a lot of content. It was a busy Sunday yesterday with cards and packs, store packs, SBCs, and objectives with the last new TOTS cards of Rest of the World being released. It started early with a Champions League man of the match, Rodri SBC. Nothing else to say here but big dub from EA Sports. High, high work rates, five-star weak foot, four-star skill move boost for this Rodri card. And man, I mean, we've got so many great defensive mid Fielders dropped recently. I mean, we have the Milner that's been in objectives, and now this Rodri. And I can't help but laugh looking at this card, an absolutely outstanding card for the price. Probably pretty good in game, but specifically for the price of this SBC, I can't help but laugh. This card being 100,000 coins, and I know I mentioned it in yesterday's video, but uh, I'm not trying to dog on this Calvin Phillips card. Even though he now is upgraded to also 91 and 5-star, five 5-star, five you compare this to the Rodri card, and it makes sense why this card dropped off from 160k down to like 75,000 coins yesterday, because this new SBC for Rodri is just miles clear so what a, what a card from uh, EA Sports. What an SBC. Love the value here. If you're running a budget team, especially if you need any Prem links, that's a card I think you might have to get in there because that is an awesome value SBC. And also the timing on this is such a dub, right? Yesterday's game or two days ago now's game on Saturday, heading into today on Monday. Uh, and the timing of that being just, you know, basically like 12 hours or maybe 15 hours after the game ends. W there from EA Sports. Now, the biggest SBC we had yesterday was the 90-plus player pick returning, and EA Sports did the business in making it even cheaper. There's no, 80, I think it was an 88 or an 89 rated squad requirement in the last one. 85, 86, 87, and a team of the season is all that this one takes. And yes, of course, fodder did move. If you bought some fodder, as we were kind of looking at, it was really, really good investment. 270k for this SBC. I know it still has the primes in it, guys, but you know you have the potential for something pretty good from this player pick, and you can craft it this week with the upgrade packs so we're going to start to see today. But that fodder rise uh, was really good. I'm glad we looked at the 87s to 89s because that was the fodder market that moved the most. 86s did okay, but 87s, excuse me, 87s were the biggest biggest movement yesterday they're back down a little bit but they were like 12,000 coins a lot of these guys went to like 17 to 18k an hour or so after content in the peak of the demand they're back down again a little bit as you can see 88s did good as well these guys were like 15,000 coins they went up to about 20k maybe a little over that 21,000 coins so a solid rise there but it was kind of it wasn't the 91s and the 92s that really moved that much I mean some of your gold cards moved up a little bit but 90s are still like 28, 29,000 coins. They just, they had a quick spike here, up a couple thousand coins. Now they're back down because the SBC was cheaper than expected. Um, only 270K this time. I'm pretty sure last time it was like 350 or 360. So a little cheaper this time around, which makes it even more of a W. We can only still do it once though. Um, and it is going to refresh later on during this week, as we've often seen these icon player picks do. So that was expected yesterday. That was a W and it did impact the market a little bit. We'll look, of course, at the market a little bit later in the video. And then the rest of the world team of the season, we started off with an SBC. Uh, this one here, kind of just mid um, for this Eric left back card. You know, the stats really just not up to par. Now the objective, we got that Paul Mullen card and objective. I think this card's a W for me. It's a fun one. Of course, with the Wrexham popularity, four star, four star, 99 balance, great shooting stats. I mean, good jumping, heading as well for a striker. 95 strength, 98 stamina. Uh, that's a fun card to get done through objectives. I don't think it's that hard to do. Win six squad battles games with three English players in your starting lineup. You can even get this done in Rivals or Champs as well. So nice, fun card there from EA Sports. And the team impacts for rest of the world team of the season. I feel like it's exactly as we described it yesterday, guys. There are some really nice cards in here, but honestly, a lot of these are going to end up as fodder because they're just very tough to link. Now, this Jota card 
might be one of the best tots cards we have in this game. This card is cracked. Five star, four star. He can play on the right and left. He's ex uh, explosive, accelerate. Um, he has got the, what's his average body type? Okay, I didn't know if he had anything else going on there. This is giving me like the Pedro Gonsalves vibes from last week, where he started really, really expensive and really rare, and then he kind of dropped during the week. But this is a nice card there to try out. And again, I feel like that's how this whole team is. Davidson has got the striker position change there. He's five, so weak foot, uh, but he can play striker, which is pretty cool. So it's just tough to link these guys because a lot of them play for different leagues that unless you're somehow going to get them into a team with some nationality, links or you really really enjoy those players uh, because you like them then you're probably not fitting them into their team and most of them are already fodder so that was the rest of the world that was dropped yesterday for the team of the season nothing too much else to say there i will say this make sure um you know i, I saw some stuff on twitter yesterday and you might see the tots counter is up to 99 I opened another store pack, guys, because I, I saw and heard, and at this stage of the game, you might as well take the risk when you have a lot of coins on some compensation potential issues with this 200k foundation pack that was dropped yesterday, the Ultimate Tots Foundations pack. I think the wording has been switched now and updated, but the 200k pack in that, again, it was Brazilian and Portuguese language, uh, was rumored to be glitched. And, um, you know, we'll see if we get compensation for it or not. I've now opened the 100K pack that was glitched and the 200K pack that were glitched with wrong descriptions. Like, that's the glitch, right? They don't say loans in the descriptions in that language. And that's how the compensation worked for the Poland and the Germany packs the past couple of weeks. So I said, you know what? We're going to try it and we'll see what happens. But EA have not messaged or said anything about that just yet. But I wanted to kind of get you guys a note as that's to why I'm on 99 Tots cards and uh, not 97. Packed two of the fodder ones from the rest of the world in that one right there. Now, talking about packs and things happening to pack players, today on Monday, right? Upgrade Pack Mondays. Now, Ultimate Tots right now. Best of the best cards in packs. Upgrade Packs this week are going to be plentiful. In my opinion, that's how it always is for Ultimate Tots, right? The pack weight is never that great, but they're still going to give us opportunities and chances to try to pack these team of the season cards. And you know what? We might as well go and do it. I mean, think about it. We got all these guys in packs. EA know that, that we're going to take a chance at trying to pack 1.29 for Militao. That's a really low price, but we're going to at least have a chance or try to pack a few of these Tots cards today. I'm expecting a lot of upgrade SBCs, a lot, guys. Like, we're talking, it's going to be probably like five, six, seven different SBCs dropped today on this game, all because I'm expecting the league specific upgrade packs to return, right? You know, you know eight Serie A, the top five leagues, those eight player packs, I'm expecting those to return today. Those aren't the packs that we're really, really excited about, but they should be dropping. So if you want to prepare for those, I would stock up on some gold rares. Last year, I'm pretty sure gold rares barely went up because again, it's tough to pack ultimate tots cards and people know that so i would still stock the club with gold rares at 650 because yeah they're right now expiring at 650 so they're very easy to stock in the club if you plan on doing any upgrade packs this week i would stock up on those i would also stock up on some non-rares because the potential for player picks is very high in my opinion uh this week as well so stock up on some of those commons because of course they're cheaper right and uh, those could go up more in price especially if there's player picks that require just commons or half commons uh in the requirement there will be a lot of a lot of demand for those so i would definitely go ahead and do that and as we speak about player picks we've had them in the past couple of weeks those are upgrade pack sbcs that we have had very commonly during ultimate tots in the past couple of years as well in fact last year we had not one but two Two different player picks. Yes, two different player picks released last year on the Ultimate Tots Monday. There was an 80 plus E Figs player pick, a one of four. And there was also an 82 plus player pick that was, I think, a one of three or maybe a one of four as well. But there were two different player picks last year. So we'll see if we have anything along those lines. This is the time of the year, and we're going to see it here in a little bit in the pack code. This is the time of the year where that E Figs kind of thing comes back, where they've dropped all the top five League of Tots, and now they start putting out upgrade packs and stuff like like that where there are efigs packs inside uh of those pack rewards so i would watch out for regular upgrade packs today with the premiums and the uh player picks now one thing i'll say is looking at the ultimate tots team is there a specific league that's maybe better to do for the upgrade packs we'll probably have to figure this out later on during the week but there's a pretty even spread here between how many cards are in packs for each league and you also have to kind of take into account which uh ultimate tots cards also have a award winner right you've got two bundesliga cards with nkunku and bellingham you've got uh two 
La Liga cards with Ter Stegen and Lewandowski, probably the easiest to pack. But you've also got Oceanman and uh, Cavaradona. Honestly, man, I'm looking at this team and I'm thinking I might hit some Serie A upgrade packs because if you hit a blue from a Serie A upgrade pack, it's going to be a big boy blue. Like, Dale Hernandez is the one of the lowest cards as a Serie A item that is in packs. The other ones are Leal, Oceanman, Cavaradona. Uh, and I think it is Teo Hernandez, and that might be it, unless I missed one. But then you've got those award winner cards in, t in there, too. La Liga, I think, has six players. But remember, La Liga was one of the hardest TOTS leagues to pack when upgrade packs are out. So it's probably going to have to be some trial or error, or just focus on the league of cards that you really want to try to pack if it's your team when doing upgrade packs this week. That is what I would say to you. Now, the premise of the fi this video, what we talked about, that guaranteed repeatable Tots upgrade pack. I'm going to take you guys back one year ago to this exact Monday inside of Ultimate Team of the Season when we had this pack dropped. The Tots upgrade pack. It was 50,000 coins to do, and you could do it five times per day. It seems incredible, right? And it was last year. During this week of Ultimate Tots, it was like one of the best pieces of content that we had. It was cheap as well. 50,000 coins to do, 84 rated squad, one inform or a Tots player. Now, if you think about it, right now on the market, the cheapest Tots players are like 27, 28,000 coins, and you're going to be packing a lot of fodder from this. But the potential that you have, think about it, right? It's the same sort of thing as the Tots packs we've been getting from the objectives, like doing the cup uh, or the uh, the daily login objective. You go 22 times for that, and you get an any Tots player pack. It's basically the same thing as that pack, but it's also going to include, and this is where my mind started turning, and we, I started to get kind of curious about this, so I look back to last year, is this new pack code that was updated, they just updated this pack to include a team of the season moments player as well. So this TOTS player pack that could be dropping today, very likely is dropping here today or very soon, would contain a team of the season or a team of the season moments player. Now, will they drop it the exact same way they did last year and make it repeatable five times per day? I don't know, but this is an SBC that we have had during Ultimate TOTS for the last two FIFAs. This would be FIFA number three if they were to do that. So I think it's actually a really good potential that we would get this SBC today. And it's just so hype because it's really cheap. You get a chance at packing all of the insane TOTS cards that have been released. Now, again, it's not just the ultimate TOTS cards that are in packs right now that you can get from this TOTS upgrade. It's any of the TOTS cards from any of the releases and not just those team of the season cards that are in packs right now. Also, I bought a Kavicha um, for one point. 4.7 on bid. I feel like I got a really good price there. He is a really rare card, and that was basically lower than his team this season. So probably going to try to flip that into today. He's already 1.7 mil. See if he goes a little bit higher than that. So that's kind of my little trade that I have going on right now. But back to the Tots packs. This today would probably cause some movement on the market. I think there is a way you can prepare for it. If it's going to cost an 83 and 84 rated squad and a team of the season, obviously, what do you think we're going to look for? We're going to look for 82s to 84s to probably move a bit in price today. 82s are like discard. That's the best low risk investment, in my opinion, right now is 82s at 700 coins on bid because they're the same price as just gold rare in general they might go up a little bit with the upgrade packs but 83s and 84s as well could move again if you think about it you're gonna this sbc will be very um if it adds the same requirements as last year it's very rinsable and repeatable right because you do the tots upgrade once with an 84 squad you get a tots card out of it you put that tots card if it wasn't good right back into the sbc you buy some 82s and 83s and you get it done for like what 20k that's why this sbc was so great last year as well and that's how a lot of coins get drained off the market. And that's why there's hype for this. So if I were wanting to make some coins or just stock my club and get ready yesterday, I went through and did a big stock on the 84s and the 85s. I would do the same thing on the 82s and the 83s, guys. Fill up your club so that if you're going to do a lot of SBCs this week, you got the cards in there already. You don't have to worry about having to go do upgrade packs to get fodder. So that's probably what I would do to prepare for this one because I could absolutely see an SBC like this make some of that middle tier fodder and low tier fodder just right up a lot this week so that's how i would look for that and then you think about for the rest of the market would this make like the cheapest tots cards on the game go up or down well right away i think it would make the tots cards on the market maybe go down just a little bit because a lot of people have tots cards in their club yes it does require a team of the season uh but i think if there were prices that would drop uh you know it probably would not last long 
And uh, honestly, what would happen too is over time, five of those you can do every single day, people are going to run out of team of the season cards real quick uh, to put into this SBC. So for that reason, I'm still holding all the TOTS cards that I bought, of course, as well. I mean, these guys are all, what, 28, 29,000 coins, 27K on some of these undercuts for the cheapest ones. I mean, I still think there is a time in this game coming where all these TOTS cards will go to 40,000 coins or at least high 30s. So I'm holding out for a bit of a rise further on down the line because of that. Um, when Ultimate Team of the Season ends, the rest of the world tots go out of packs. There's no more fodder tots being supplied. We should continue to see those go up. So, you know, these could go up a little bit today. I could honestly just see them staying right around like 28 to 30K though, because, um, you know, still a lot of people have invested in these. And all, honestly, if an SBC like this were to come out, people might start selling those because they'd expect them to go up. When in reality, if that starts happening, they probably won't go up as much. So I'm still holding it strong there. Get on the low-rated fodder, buy some of that stuff as well. And it would probably create a little bit of panic on the market too. Let's be honest, right? The big upgrade pack SBCs today, if they all drop, kind of like we're talking about them, it could impact the market a bit more on that middle to low tier. Oh my goodness, Nuno Mensch, 216K. He was 320 on the weekend. I haven't looked at his card since then. He is demolished in price. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. But guys, that's what's going to happen, right? And we've been talking about it. We know that this is how the market works during this time of the year. Prices are probably going to fall off a bit this week, especially on the Ultimate Tots cards. I'm being very careful trading with these. I know some of them look so cheap. It's like, Nate, how can Militao be 1.29 or 1.3 mil? How can Delict now be under 800K? How can Musiala be under a million coins? Benzema being 2.4. Like, I know it's crazy, guys, but honestly, it's probably going to go lower during the rest of this week. If we have all of these insane SBCs that we're talking about potentially happening, only if half of them come, these guys are still in packs. They're still getting packed from weekend league rewards, the tradable three player packs, and uh, EA is probably going to drop more store packs this week, which will gr drain coins off of the market. This is still like the ultimate of team of the season weeks to do the content and to be on the game. And I think that's why in the previous years, EA has gone all out with the SBCs, like the TOTS packs and stuff like that. There's probably more TOTS packs coming later on this week as well. One thing I want to touch on right now is one of the other packs that was added to the code was a pretty big one. A 93 plus community slash efigs TOTS player pack gives you one tots or moments player rated 93 or higher from community tots and efix tots now another reason why i'm very confident about this coming this week and the other tots pack coming probably today look back at last year in the same week of ultimate team of the season we had this tots upgrade pack and the 93 plus efix pack and it was a bit more expensive but that was a big TOTS pack that you could open up as well. There's going to be a lot of hype for both these SBCs. Another good reason to stock up on fodder and just get ready for hopefully some really, really, really good content today on this game. And it kind of just, I know I said it uh, last year and it gives me the same vibes this year as well. It gives me that summertime FIFA vibe in terms of the content where the SBCs and stuff is starting to get crazy. We know the cards and packs. We know where they are. We're getting into shapeshifters as well. The cards are getting more like silly and crazy than just like making sense. You know what I'm saying? With like, especially the striker Tiago Silva being at level 10. So that's kind of what I'm feeling for this game today. So really right now, I'm just worried about stocking a bit of fodder in the club and uh, not holding on to too many cards, guys, because yes, indeed, I do expect prices to be dropping off, especially if you want to buy anybody from Ultimate Team of the Season. I'm not telling you to not buy cards because I want you guys to buy cards and enjoy these great players at lower prices. But also, I'm going to say, just be careful uh, because I think that there are more drops coming in the future. Other Monday content that we could see today on this game, we should have the continuation of the end of an era cards. We kind of called it yesterday. I was wondering if they were going to stop the end of an era train. Maybe it comes back today. I don't think we have any other leaked SPCs right now besides Asensio and the Hector cards still. I think those are it from what I've seen from like the reliable slash trusty leakers, you know. So I think Asensio will be a shout for a card that could drop today. Um, we'll have to see if that happens or not. Of course, you would want to watch out for some of those La Liga links on the market if i was trading right now on the market as well those are probably the cards that i would want to trade with if you think about it right um since that uh busquets sbc was so hyped and a lot of those prices are moving up like this ball day is still inflated still 170 to 180,000 coins whereas he was you know what 130 before the busquets came out pedri's back down a lot so you could look into that one but i think a lot of people are packing pedri from weekend league rewards he seems very supplied like he was almost 800k 
um, even after the boost gets dropped, and he's 660 right now. Watch Lewandowski as well. His card moves a lot in price, and uh, I would specifically say to watch out for these award winners, man. I know, like we said, they are very rare, and I had a really crazy flip on Jude Bellingham. I think that some of these guys are still a little bit overpriced, but if you compare it to the Tots card, this Lewa is 283 and what's his Tots card? 245. It's a bit of a extra kind of difference there. But these cards are pretty good to trade with because they're just rare. And of course, today, if we get more SPC content, that would link some of those guys together. Um, like Lewandowski, you know, people might want to link with more La Liga links with that Asensio. Look for a card like him to potentially move a little bit today. But if you're trying to make coins right now, the best place to do that is definitely on the SBC fodder side of things now i have not played any more games i gotta get some more games in i'm on nine wins at the moment went on a little bit of a streak last night four in a row popped off right quick I'll, all i need is two wins and hopefully we'll be getting the best weekend league rewards today so i'm excited for the content today guys i really really am so excited to see what ea would potentially drop for the upgrade pack sbc sit in this game i hope we get the tots pack i hope we get player picks two different types of player picks i hope we get all the league upgrades and we'll be sending some coins into upgrade packs this week to at least give ourselves a shot at packing some of the most ultimate team of the season cards so if you want to come to the twitch stream today we'll be opening a lot of packs crafting a lot of spcs and having some fun if you enjoyed this video today drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new it's been nathan for the count i'll see you guys in the stream today peace out